he's eating his protein, so I'll take what I can get. So, did not vlog at all yesterday. Um, I think I vlogged maybe like three minutes. Didn't vlog the day before that, so I'm already slack. Gotta catch up. Uh, today, I have to edit a video. It's Wednesday when I'm filming this, and I have a YouTube video that goes live on Wednesday nights. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't vlog yesterday, because I felt like I was vlogging, but I wasn't. I was just filming a regular YouTube video of what I eat in a day. So I'll link that in the description bar below if you have not seen it. But I don't really think today's gonna be interesting. I think it's just gonna be a day of work. Woolsey. You look so chunky when you lay like that, Celine. Sam, come look at the way this cat is laying. He looks so chunky. And he's not at all offended. People say we body shame our animals on Insta because we call them fat. And I'm like, oh, chunky? That's woof. <laughs> like this is all hair. Like that's that's all fur. <laughs> he loves that. He's like, ooh, do that more. Doug's pissed. I dare someone pay attention to an animal that's not me. Come on. Oh my goodness, say I'm not his daddy. <laughs> and they're stuck, pissed. And then I got my Sasha girl over here. This is my fluff. This is my fluffy girl. She doesn't like being held. Yep. Not not her jam. She's never loved it. Why can't you love me? It's my worst fear one day when we have kids is that I'm gonna have a kid who like doesn't like being held. <laughs> Makes me sad even thinking about it now. I just had to take a break from work because I'm I've been working like doing a lot of different things at once. Like I had a video conference that I was watching while I was or I was on. Um, while I was getting today's video up and I was trying to edit a post, a blog post that goes in the description bar of the YouTube video. So I was just like, okay, I need to take a break. Um, so the Amazon people just left. I bought another hoodie just like the one I got that's solid white because I love it so much. Um, and this one will obviously be near as fragile because it's not white. <laughs> I'm a disaster. Buying it all white, it's just poor thinking. It's still white, but it probably won't be for long knowing me. The um, smoothies I make every morning, I just need more protein in my diet. Like, that's something I tend to have. I've, I've like always lacked protein in my diet. Um, and so I wanted a protein powder that would go in my smoothie that was unflavored, organic, plant-based. <laughs> And um, I was like gluten free the whole nine. So I found this one. It's the Nature's Best by Isopure. It's the plant based protein with pea and brown rice protein powder. It's unflavored, and one scoop is 20 grams of protein, which I really like. And it's only 100 calories. So usually I can. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not flavored. Where's the little scoop? I hate that. I hate when they come in and the scoop is like at the bottom. Ooh. Oh man, this scoop is huge. Look at that. Thing is freaking massive. I did just end up washing it off. I, I can't stand when things are like all over the handle and it's dug down in there. Um, however, the bottle is like half full and I took the seal off of it. So like, I don't know. Anyway, that's the protein powder I bought. Sam really likes the Premier Protein one. He does the vanilla, but he actually likes the powder. Um, 
I think he mixes his with like whole milk, so it's not like the lowest in calorie, but he really likes it. And I mean, it's, he's eating his protein, so I'll take what I can get. All right, so then I got two things and I wanted to share these. These were actually the whole purpose of doing this with you guys because they actually helped me a ton at tax time. Um, last year was my first year using these and I, so getting to actually like get all my tax paperwork together and stuff. And I'm literally just gonna take this to my account. So it's gonna make everything a lot easier. Um, obviously if you have like simple taxes and you know, you don't need to provide receipts or anything like that. Like you just have a couple papers that you get from like work and stuff like that. So honestly, you don't need this, but I have like, we have our personal taxes and then we have business taxes. And then I have to give receipts for everything that is a write off or an expense or something. Um, so I got this last year and I ordered another one for 2021. So it is a Smeed, I'll link it below, um, Poly Project Organizer. And it actually is just a blank, like notebook that has pockets in it. And so what I did last year was I put little, I wrote the months on every single one of these. I think this one actually comes with like 24. It's a little unnecessary or um, yeah, it definitely comes with 12. Oh, it comes front and back, duh, okay. So this one comes with 12 little tabs. So it's very easy to just write the month on there. All of your stuff for January is in that one place. So this is amazing. And if you have detailed like tax documents, this is great. Cause I don't quite know. I mean, I don't I won't sit and watch my accountant do taxes. So I was just thinking like, if there's something he's questioning, you know, he needs a receipt from January. He needs a receipt from March. He can easily just flip back through and see, you know, okay, these are all of her January receipts. It's really good. All right, and then I also got this. This I'm excited about. Um, anything organization makes me happy. <laughs> Come on. This in particular is all tabbed sticky notes. So like it does have regular sticky notes here and here, right? But all of these like actually have the tab on them and it's a sticky note. So you can like stick it in there, write a little note, call it a day. Um, so like if there's some info I need to write on there, these are great. I'm gonna keep all this stuff together. I got this because I actually bought these yesterday because I was working on gathering all my tax documents up and I was like, wow, that folder's amazing. Okay, so I now am going to go work out with you. Are you okay? You surviving? You thriving? Um, so in about an hour, I'm going to go work out with my mom. We usually work out in the mornings, but today she had to take her friend to a colonoscopy. And so, um, she was like, can we please still work out? I need to work out. And I was like, yes, as long as it's abs, cause I need abs. Um, uh, so that's what I'm doing today. At least I got all my video stuff done. <laughs> He's like, nah. So it's a beautiful day. It is, what is it? Like 65? 67, is it saying it or? 64. 64 degrees and beautiful and sunny. Let me see if I can. Look at that sky. Oh my gosh. So, Sam forgot the camera. Sam was like, I wanna go bike. And I was like, I'll go walk. And I brought Doug, clearly. Hold on, sorry, you're shaking. It was the worst decision ever. He had to stop and smell every blade of grass. I think we walked like probably three or four laps, I'd say. And he had to stop and smell every blade of grass every time. So, really, someone did burnouts in the, the park parking you, lot? You missed the, the teenage boy that pulled in all sideways and parked and was taking pictures of his car in the sunset. Maybe, maybe it was just me. I never did that. My first car wasn't anything to be that proud of. I don't think cars are that, I don't think cars in sunsets are like, Oh, he, he like, you could tell it was like just washed because it was still like shiny and looked wet. He had to get proof. He was like. You know though, I sometimes will take a picture of my car when it's washed because I'm like, look, it actually has been clean at some point. Yeah, All right, I'm super shaky, so I'm gonna close it off here, but it is a beautiful day. And we literally had snow four days ago. So and it's, it's supposed to rain all the weekend. I literally don't know how this camera still has battery because for some reason it was still on. Okay, um, but I'm just, let me, hold on, let me wrap you guys. I have this really cool tripod and you're supposed to be able to like manipulate it to like wrap around your steering wheel. Let me try that. Okay, they made it look way easier in the like little chart thing. 
than they had on mine. <laughs> Look at that! You guys are wrapped around my steering wheel. Um, I'm waiting in the car right now. I don't know if you can hear what's going on, but um, the sky just decided to like open up and completely just fall down in Greenville. Like, what? What is happening? Why? 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 Um, but I have my umbrella, so I guess I could just go inside. I'm just kind of avoiding it because who wants to walk around in this? Also, I wore, if I just don't dress appropriate for this weather, I wore sneakers. Sneakers! I could have worn boots, like rain boots, my favorite rain boots. Yeah, I'm basically just going to sit here and um, play on my phone for the next couple minutes because... Oh, no, wait. Okay, I think this is probably, this feels really light compared to how it's been, so I actually might go ahead and go inside. But um, I'm gonna take this camera to film my video, but I'm not gonna film any vlog content while I'm in there, because like I'll be using this same footage for my main channel. Gosh, you guys, I look like such a douchebag in there. So, first of all, there were lots of mothers in there. There was like four or five moms. They were separate, like they were in pairs, but not all five were together. They probably had 15 kids between them, and all I have to say to that is not all heroes wear capes. You are doing great, mama. You could tell they just needed a break and get out of the house, and I was like, you go. This little boy Easton got lost. I know his name was Easton because they were calling him, and they couldn't find him. Um, but I looked like such a douchebag in there because I walked in, and everyone was looking at me funny, and I was like, what are these people looking at me funny? So I went to the bathroom, and then I came out, and I'd, I'd been in Target for like five minutes at this point. I was like in the dollar section looking around. I was like, bitch, you don't have on your mask. So I thought I had it attached to my ear. So I just like assumed I kind of put it up. No. So then I come back to my car. It had fallen off of my ear. I'm not even gonna, it's like soaking wet. So I wash my masks like once a week-ish. Um, I try to, I don't leave the house that much though. So I don't do it so much anymore. <sighs> but yeah, it's soaking wet. So that thing's gotta go in the washing machine. But I was like, oh my God, Mariah. All right, but I've got all this stuff now. Um, but I have to, I got some flowers and I'm going to redo my flowers today because Valentine's Day is this weekend. I got, uh, I stopped at the pharmacy and got Sam some Tums and what else did I get him? Like an anti-acid thing because he's really not feeling all that great. He feels like he has acid reflux and he doesn't know why. I'm like, well, maybe it's because you drink eight cups of coffee a day, but you know, I'm no doctor or anything. Just an assumption. Um, cause he hasn't usually drank that much coffee. He's only been doing that recently and recently he's been struggling with acid reflux. So, all right. I feel really good about that shopping trip. I'm trying to be a lot for mine, a lot more mindful about how I spend my money. And I used to buy things that I thought were really, really cute just to show in a try on haul. And then I wouldn't wear them again. And I was like, I'm just wasting so much money, so much of my money on clothing to show people on YouTube. And so that's why today I was like, why don't I try something different? Why don't I go in store, share like what they have? I can link it below, but I'm not actually buying it all. So I bought the things that I really, really like, things I know I'm gonna wear. So I actually only ended up with four pieces, I think, four or five things. Had I gone in there and bought everything I thought was cute, like I used to do for a try-on haul, I probably would have left with like 10 pieces. And that's just expensive and it's it's not smart to do that. So it felt really good like making this smart decision today. Um, so I'm gonna go home and film the rest of the try-on haul portion and then I think that's really it. 